In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about how to lane Absol. That's not Absol, that's Absol. Absol is a really interesting speedster because I think it actually performs better in lane than it does in the central area right now. Let me take you into a match and show you the build. The build is scope lens, razor claw, buddy barrier, all day, every day. Hi, by the way, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw, and I do have a question for you. If you are sub to my channel, why'd you sub? Please leave your answer in the comments. I love you. I'm kissing weird. All right, heading into the bottom path here with Absol. Absol actually does pretty well in lane as long as you're not playing against sort of the meta that you might run into, you know, that 1-1-3, because Absol does a lot of damage early. So we're gonna head into this bottom path here. We're gonna try to do some damage early. I usually like to avoid this fight here and try to take both of these if at all possible you just got to notice what the enemy's doing and right now they have lucario sneaking around so we'll be able to get one if not both of these lucario's looking to score here and i just got to out damage this hoopa real quick and i take their you know both of theirs and we did it great and now we can head back i'm just going to eject button real quick and get away from it and i'm going to help us secure this because they're on their way over here Took both of their Audinos while they were kind of scoring and taking that one there. So we're in pretty good shape here. Pikachu can head down and grab that core fish now. And that's kind of early Absol in that lane. You do a lot of damage to single targets so fast with Slash and Faint that you're actually able to make moves like that work. I'm almost level five right now. Pikachu's level four. I'm gonna have it here for this fight, which is great. I'll take a lot of that, not almost everything with that move right there. And we can get a KO here too. Yep, nice, good job, buddy. Me and Pikachu just being aggressive in that moment. I'm gonna grab a berry and I can turn right around and take Hoopa out too. So really strong early lane presence from Absol. And now that I'm level five, I'm just a lot meaner. I'm able to do a lot of damage with Night Slash and they can't really do too much to me because I have two dashes. So one of the coolest parts about playing Absol in lane is using Night Slash and just having that insane mobility here. I'm gonna grab all this so the enemies can't. Head back down to my lane. Ooh, looks like we got Duraludon showing up, huh? Okay. How you doing, buddy? I'm on my way. Pikachu is also a great partner in lane because Pikachu can lane by themselves if they need to. You can't really do this if you have a lane partner that just can't hang, but Pikachu can hang for sure. Nine tails could hang, you know. You need someone who can play like that. I can honestly probably KO this person right here. Ooh, almost got him. I think my team will get him. Yeah, we got him. I could have even been more aggressive there. I should have been more aggressive when I saw it because I wasn't able to get out of range there. I love Sucker Punch in this situation. Sucker Punch is just such a good counter move. So if you use Sucker Punch, the enemy is attacking you are going to jump to them and stun them. And you know when enemies are gonna attack, especially an auto attacker. Like, do we think Duraludon's gonna stop attacking now that he's in this form? Of course he's not. We were just able to jump to him and stun him right there. It's such a nice counter for things like that. Pikachu coming down in the center here. I wonder how low its health is. Probably not low if it's walking, right? If it's walking center, probably not super low. Gonna run over here. Try to help us secure. Got that. Gonna back up here. Ooh, never mind. Venusaur with the Unite. Maybe we go in. There's a lot of them there, buddy. Oh, no, we can't. We have to back out. If I had my Unite there, I think we can really turn that fight around, but I'm just a hair off of having it. Now I'm gonna have it. And if they push in here, I'm able to take them down. It doesn't look like they're gonna. It looks like they're gonna play careful there. Oh, Pika, Duraludon, Serena. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's a, that's been happening to me lately. Has that been happening to anyone else? The screen is whipping around during my Absolute Unites? I don't know what that is exactly. But there we go. Got two. I'm gonna, I mean, there's experience to clean up top, but it looks like Duraludon's got that. So, I guess we just look for experience somewhere. There's none on the map. We're eating it up pretty good. Oh, Duraludon's not getting it? Oh, he is. 
All we're doing right now is looking for something to eat and getting ready for our next objective here. Pikachu, that's something to eat. No. There's no point in chasing super hard. They're throwing Unites at us. Eh, it's a rough fight, guys. I, I think we just pull back here. This is not a good fight. Let's just get out of here. What are we what are we fighting over? Let's head bottom. Would have been better off just staying on our side of the map looking for XP after we saw that Pikachu. Okay, got two there. Where'd the Dura Oh, Duraldon went down to Pikachu. Alright, we can take this uh, Dreadnought then real quick. Should be able to get it fast enough. We don't burn it like a Dreadnought. Uh, <laughs> Dreadnought. We don't burn it like a Dreadnought. We don't burn it like a Duraludon does, but we still burn it pretty quick. Now everyone's going to be heading top, so I just saw these bees. It's a big piece of experience for the enemy, so I'm just going to take it from them. And the nice thing about that Flash Cannon is, I'm not too worried about that Flash Cannon. I kind of love that he's running Flash Cannon, because I'm able to jump in when I want to fight. Get him actually. It looks like there's no one bottom right now. Oh no, Pika made it. All right, you're right, you're right. I was heading that way. You're right, Pikachu. I was heading that way. We're at 3:30. Do I do I throw this? I think I throw this unite. There we go. Now I need to charge my Unite here. That was a little dangerous. I need to get some wild Pokemon. Unfortunately, our team is doing a great job of cleaning up every piece of experience on the map. So I might not have my Unite for Zap, but I saw a quick double KO there and I wanted to take it. Let's see. You're on fire. The bees down there. Venusaur's gonna grab bees. I'll grab this. Got some experience on the bottom side of the map and some wild Pokemon here. Again, all I'm trying to do right now is charge my Unite move. I'm already level 13, which is good. If I was playing jungle, I'd probably be 14-ish, maybe. My only thought is, get my Unite move. I need it. Uh, Pika. Dang, buddy. I need, I need my Unite, pal. Uh, you don't understand what I'm doing. I really need it. I need some of this XP. I just want to not not have a Unite for Zapdos because uh, you kind of need that buddy barrier to fight when you're a, a speedster. Like Absol. And I'll have it here. Let's split up for now. What are you talking about? Let's split up. Oh, there's two here. Or Duraludon, United there, that's a weird one. Alright. Let's see what we can do. That is so disorienting. We didn't get zapped there. That is just so crazy weird to see. I don't like that weird bug. Okay, we got a lot of them here. Let's go try to score. Three down. They're gonna get 50. No, they didn't get it. They're gonna land on my head, I think. I have to try to score. I don't know, they did land on my head. Wow. That's very, very nice. Hoopa not able to... Oh no, Hoopa scored top. We should be ahead right now. We're gonna have a lot to defend. There's Zarina. Where'd it go? Here it is. Zarina's a nice one, because you know it's just gonna keep attacking, so you can sucker punch it super hard. Okay. Duralin on Lucario top. Pikachu bottom. I think we get this pretty easily.
It's three down. Pikachu bottom here. With a buddy barrier. Or excuse me, not buddy barrier, a score shield. <laughs> Pikachu with a score shield, huh? I mean, it does use its Unite a lot, so it can kind of set up some situations to maybe Unite and then score, but boy, that's an interesting call, seeing Pikachu with a score shield right there. I never see it. It has such low health. Feels like, well, it's probably not going to work out, but... So we're going to try and score here. Maybe the last attempt at a score before the round's over. G to the G's. It's a little Absol in that bottom path right there. Again, kind of dominate that bottom path early, and then I just spent the rest of the game with Absol honing in on their carry Pokemon, making sure that I could KO Duraludon as much as possible there. And yeah, we got set up to win. Weird fight at Zap, I gotta say. When our Duraludon threw its Unite in the top path, I thought, ooh, this is gonna be tough because it's really a Duraludon versus Duraludon oftentimes at that Zapdos. And we did uh, 11 KOs, eight assists, 63K damage. So a little light on damage. You can kind of do more than that usually, but pretty solid for someone in that bottom path, not, you know, a jungle Pokemon.